This is Charlie Kale with Travel Mall Media Group. I'm in Paquer Lodge in uh, Costa Rica uh, at the uh, Zeit Foundation's Long Run Members uh, Meeting. And uh, I'm with Karen Lewis, who's the uh, founder and CEO of uh, Lapa, Lapas Rios, Lapa Rio, sorry, Karen, uh, Resort. Um, well, of course, I'm going to ask you to tell us about it, but it, it, I do want to say at this meeting with your colleagues around the world of similar eco resorts, uh, they certainly uh, look up to your accomplishments and, and uh, methods and such that you've developed. So tell us about your, your property and how it came about. Laparillos came about by a dream to make a difference. John and I were, in 1990, ready to do another adventure in our life. We had been Peace Corps volunteers in the late 60s and were inspired when, in 1988, we went back to Africa with our then teenagers. And it was, it, it reignited in us uh, the desire to do something good again and to do something that would make a difference. And our passion over the years, I think, having been formed, I suppose, by childhood experiences in the outdoors with our parents and, and then in our early marriage, we were always outdoors, always outdoors. So we just decided, let's do something in a different culture, one we don't know, in a language we don't speak, that will make a difference with a community but basic to it all will be conservation big enough to make a difference in the world's biosphere. So it's a rainforest on the Pacific side of Costa Rica. Correct. That nobody lived in no. and it's rain. Oh yes, a lot of birds. Oh, a lot of birds. Fungus, monkeys, snakes. And you, uh, obviously with the difficult access and you and John, over the years built this resort kind of luxury resort at that and and so today what is it I mean how many units what kind of visitors what kind of activities should they expect to yes. to experience well I'm going to first change that La Perillos, I, this is my hang-up Charlie La Perillos is not a resort because people expect tennis courts so um, it is an experience where people come because the nature is everywhere and it is in great abundance. You don't even have to get out of bed to see a troop of monkeys passing by your room or the noisy macaws wake up people at 5.15 as they come flying by in pairs and so it's very inspirational and I think wilderness is what drives people to Costa Rica, the natural beauty of the country. Inspired, I think we were so much in 1990 when we first came to Costa Rica that the park system had already been started. And in the late 70s, they had the good fathers of this country had set aside and assigned uh, easements to about 25% of the land. Now, about 33% of the land is in protection due to private initiatives like Laparillos and other reserves. The guest comes for wilderness, but here is the secret, I think, of our success. And that is, from the day one, we have always worked with our community. And by working with our community and learning together how precious where we live is, they have been able to turn their lives around to agree with us to our mission statement, a forest left standing is more valuable than one cut down. How does that play in their own lives? They've improved the way they respond to their actions, and if it's something that requires change, they know they're going to have to change, and their family's going to have to learn to turn off the faucet, because by turning off the faucet, they lower their water bill if they've moved from the countryside into the villages where they do charge for water. So guests come to experience wilderness, they become dearly attached to our staff, 
to our community projects. Our staff and guests get involved together in community projects. So this kind of tourism, called sustainable tourism, is a basic word, is how do you sustain not only the environment and the conservation that we've set aside, but how do you sustain the local people and their culture? Karen Lewis, I'm sorry, John is uh, not here to join us, uh, but uh, Karen, uh, founder, co-founder, and owner yes. of Lapa Rios. Sorry, I called it a resort. It's a ah, see, it's an you, eco. You it's an yes, I am. <laughs> I'm learning a lot. And by the way, Karen, to watch you today with the morning bird watching and and just just being around you and how. You act like it was the first day you've ever been in Costa Rica and in the rainforest. And I realized that you live your life like today is the first day of your journey. <laughs> what a nice thing to say. Thank you. I shall learn from that. Thank you kindly, Charlie. Thank you.